About eight months ago, I was able to purchase an Instamic Pro Plus Mono. Here's what my thoughts are on using it for wedding videography. As you'd probably expect, all of the audio for this video is going to be coming from the Instamic, which I have in my pocket right here. You can see the little magnet part on the outside and inside is the Instamic. So far, I found it to be a really handy option for miking up the bride. I know some people never do mic the bride. Some people do, and they have an elaborate system with a Velcro strap that goes around the bride's thigh, and then they run the cable up through the dress. And really, to me, that just never felt like a really viable option. The combination of it taking so much time and being awkward, me being a guy, trying to you know run cables up and mic up someone's leg and it could just get really awkward and uncomfortable for the bride you know if i had a second shooter who was a woman then that could be totally different but obviously that takes more time more effort more uncomfortability potentially for the bride and then having to pull it off after the ceremony is sounds like a mess to me you know they're trying to sign the marriage license say hello to their friends go do the photo session stuff you know the photographers aren't going to love you having to run up and pull that off or you're just gonna have to let it run for the next hour hour and a half or whatever until you can pull it off probably after introductions during dinner it just always felt really cumbersome so this has been just a welcome addition to my kit so you can easily just have them tell them you know this side up and they can just pop it in the side of their dress i got the white cover for it as well and some white gaff tape so between that Usually you can work it in pretty well with a lot of dresses, obviously not every dress, but it's like I said, it's far better than nothing. And it's far more convenient than the whole thigh strap cable running up through the dress thing. I opted to get the mono version because I had read online that the stereo mics were adding in the chance of picking up more rustling of clothing. And for something like toast, you really don't need stereo. You just take the mono result and duplicate it in editing and then it's coming out of both speakers and that's really all that matters in this case. I kind of think of the Instamic as the GoPro of audio. Most people don't use a GoPro on every single shoot, but when you need that specific style of shot, it makes life way easier as opposed to trying to rig a traditional camera in whatever setup you would be using a GoPro for. Similarly, the Instamic can go in those tight spaces and make things that would be complicated to set up easy. Well, I haven't done any kind of real durability tests on this thing, I can tell you that it can at least take about a four foot drop on the ground, as that happened one time when a bride put it a little too close to the top of her dress, uh, luckily only during a welcome speech and not during the ceremony, and it fell out. And it didn't cause any kind of problems at all, it didn't lose any audio, it didn't cause any damage, nothing. I've also been really happy with the app, it makes controlling this thing really simple. There are also button press things you can do on it as well if you don't wanna get your phone out. And I'm sure if you took just a little bit of time to practice and memorize them, that would be really simple as well. But sometimes I'll try to kind of guess what a button would press would do, and then it doesn't do that. Basically, every time I think I can turn it off on there, I end up just starting a new clip instead. Uh, once again, if I just took some time to learn it, it'd be fine, but the app is super great and that's kind of what I would suggest you do if you can. The biggest issue, if you will, with these Instamics are the fact that they're hard to get. I would really suggest, if you're interested in one, that you go to the website and click on the notify me when available button. That's what I had to do because if not, you'll just keep on checking the website every couple weeks or month or whatever and you'll just keep on getting disappointed. I understand it's a small company, but it seems like they have a really hard time keeping enough stock in to satisfy demand. All of the current models of the Instamic are 32-bit float, which is super convenient for run-and-gun, one-man band type people like me. I don't have to worry about anything, just turn it on, give it to the bride, and just don't even worry about it. They do offer a non-32-bit float recording option as well, Though you'd have to be, I feel like, in a very specific scenario to want to do that. The only benefit of not doing 32-bit is to save space. So you would have to be somewhere where you were recording for a very 
long amount of time and didn't have access to a laptop to transfer the files over, but did have access to like a battery brick to keep recharging the mic over and over to fill it up that much. It really doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but hey, if it does to you, at least you got the option. Well, that's about it for this one. I think it's a great tool to have in your kit. And if you can get your hands on one, it's worth it.